Today, I'm going to demonstrate the templates function within ENVD. Uh, so how to locate your existing templates, how to create uh, new templates, and then how to create new consignments from those templates. So the first thing you'll need to do is log into your LPA account online. And across the top here, we've got the different tabs. And we want to select the ENVD icon. So we'll click on that. And that now brings us to this consignments homepage. So as you can see here, this will bring up a list of all the previous consignments that you've completed in the past. And across the top here, we've got the different tabs. So we've got consignments, templates, edX, help, and return to LPA. So today we're going to go and look at this templates tab. So we click on that. And again, this will bring up a list of any existing templates that you've created in the past. Now, it's important to note that you actually can't create a template from scratch on its own. Uh, you create templates from existing consignments that you've created in the past. So I'll show you how to do that now. So if we jump back to this consignments tab, and let's just say that we've just gone through and completed this consignment. So when you get brought to the consignment summary screen, on the bottom right hand side here, it'll ask you, is this a frequent movement? Um, and it will prompt you to create a template if uh, this is a common movement that you use. So we'll click on this create template button. And then they just ask you to put in a name. So um, this may be specific to a particular location when you send stock to commonly. Um, so for example, we'll do Maitland Cell Yards. And you then just click this green create button. And that'll now appear here, as so you can see, Maitland Sale Yards. Um, if you want to create a template from an older consignment, you'll just need to come back to this consignments homepage, scroll down to the applicable consignment, and on the right-hand side here, we've got the Options drop-down menu. So you click on that, and you select the Create a New Template option. And again, it'll ask you for a name, so you just need to name it something that's easy to remember that you'll know which consignment you're referring to. Again, it may be specific to a particular location where you move your stock. Um, it may be a breed of stock or the forms that you use for that movement. Um, and again, you just click this create button here and that now appears here within the template section. So that's where to find your existing templates and that's also how to then create uh, your new templates from those existing consignments. Um, so now what we want to do is we actually want to use these templates to create a new consignment going forward. So what you do is you select uh, the template that you're interested in. So we'll use this Maitland Sale Yards one, and it's now going to go through this process of creating a new consignment. So as you can see, all the information is pre-populated. And all we're going to need to do is just change any little bits of information specific to this new consignment. So we're going to say that they're still going to Maitland Sale Yards. They've been consigned to the same location. If not, you just untick the box and enter in the details accordingly. And the date. So we'll just change the date based on this new movement. So they may be moving the week after and at a different time. Click on Next. Now this little message comes up here, it's just saying that we've got to do a few things before we can save the form. Um, but we can also work our way through the different tabs here to update any information as necessary. So within this livestock description section, it's been pre-populated as 10 steers based on the template that we saved. We may need to change this for this new movement. So we click on change. And we may be moving 30 Angus steers. If you want to draw the brand, you can. And we've added in the 30 steers. Now, if you've got some other livestock moving as well, you can click on this Add Livestock Description button. Maybe adding in 10 Angus heifers as well. Add. So we've just changed it from 10 steers to 30 steers and 10 heifers. Scroll down, click on next, and we just work our way through the form. So again, it's all pre-populated. 
If it's the same, you can leave it. If not, you just simply need to change your answers. As we can see, all of these questions have been answered already. You may need to change some. Again, that's up to you based on the, the new consignment. And we then get to the declaration section. That's just the date of the declaration. So that's just going to be today's date. Click on that. And then the transporter section. So if you don't know the transporter details, you can just click submit and print. If you do, we can go in and add in the transporter details now. Just do that. Signature, you can choose a file, draw the image, or you can just leave this blank and uh, complete the signature by hand once you've printed it off. That's up to you. Put in this information. Click on add. That's now our transported details. So we're now going to click the submit and print button and submit. And this is our new consignment that we've just created using that template. So we go back to the consignments home page, and there's our new consignment there that we've just made through that new template. So as you can see, the template function is, is really efficient. Um, it saves you a lot of time from creating consignments from scratch, um, especially with all that information that's pre-populated. So back to this templates tab, and that's our templates there. So um, the other thing I will point out on the right hand side here, we've got the options drop down menu. And if you click on that, this is where you can create a new consignment from this template. You can edit the template if there's certain bits of information that you need to change, or you can delete that template if it's no longer required. 